Hi everyone, welcome to Simple Aussie Planner. Today is budgeting day, it's payday, um, and I'm just going to sort out this money. Sorry. Um, okay. So I'll sort the money out first and then I'm going to fill in my budget in my budget book. So 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, that's 280, 10, 20, 30, 40, that's 120, and 10 makes 130. And I see everyone fixing up their bills. I do sometimes, but I'm not that fussed about it. Um, it doesn't really bother me because some, like mo for the most part, I'm not really looking at the money. If that makes sense, I don't know. Okay, so I have this uh, budget book from Budget with Ira, and I have started decorating, I just want to make sure that we are in frame, there we go, okay, so for January, now I did lay down all the stickers for the whole month, so there's week one, week two, week three, and four, and five, so very pretty, but having done that, I'm the way I do my budget, I only, I don't know how this is going to work for my bills. I like to have my bills listed out. This is the book that I use. So I have my bills listed out like this and I just mark them off as they get paid. And that's, that's my monthly thing. So perhaps the monthly sticker set may have worked for me better but I do get paid weekly so I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm playing with it and so this is January I'll go with this one for now and we'll see how how we go for the next one um, so it is the 4th of January payday and um, I haven't put my bills in here though. I do want to put them in here. So I think what I'll do, fill out as much as I can. Um, and two, um, sorry, I'm just thinking, was this 300? No. Oh, I'm just going to go with it. Because I think I only need 300. But anyway, okay, income. So I'm just going to put work. So 400 and... It was 430 for my pay. So this, I'm going to be a bit slow at doing this because I don't break my pays down like this usually. I just write it down to what makes sense to me. But I did want to try it this way. So my bills, um, I'm not paying any bills, but I am putting a hundred into bills so I'm just going to put bill account because that's where it goes and then I've just put the today's date which is the fourth so I have done that and so there's 3.30 left over so my envelopes will be 
food, fuel, pets, food, fuel, pets, and that's it for them. So food is usually $100, but what I did, I still had some money rolled over from last week, and we don't need a whole lot because I've just done a shop from last week, so I'm just going to roll over the little bit I've got left and then add $30. So I'm just going to work with the actual because we're on the day and I'm not doing this ahead of time. So fuel's 50 Pets is 50 that's 130 so that leaves 200 Sinking funds, I have... Sinking funds... I nearly put 22. Um, okay, sinking. So, I've actually got dentist and my boy's birthday. So the boys get 50 and the dentist is getting 50, so that's 100. So that leaves me 100. And what I'm going to do with that is put it in challenges. And then that gives me zero left. And that's that. So that is my budget. That's what I'm working with. And then I will get to stuffing my envelopes. So first off, let's see what my leftover was. Not much, but like I said, um, I don't really need anything. So wallet, that's what I've got left. I've allocated $30, so I'm going to have $35, and I'll think about that later. I'm thinking 35 is enough. We really only need some drinks, some ice, a bag of ice, and some bread maybe. So I don't need much. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Oh, I'm not done with my wallet. So that was the food. 50 for pets. So where did I put? I don't have my little dividers in here because we went on holidays and all the money that was in here was just for holidays so I didn't need my dividers and now I don't know where I put them but that's okay so 50 I'll put it over this side of the wallet 50 is for pets 50 is for fuel because I go back to work on Monday I'm going to need fuel in my work car so that's that alrighty um so my boy's birthday is in here. So if you haven't watched my videos, if you're new here, welcome. Hi. Um, I have twin boys. They're 21 this year. I can say this year now. Uh, in September. So I'm trying to get their little envelope stuffed before their birthday and as you can see I haven't put money in here since the end of November so I really need to get that moving but that's okay so adding 50 and they should now have 450 51 52 53 54 and 50 I do want to get this up to a thousand dollars each because that will be their birthday money and their father will be throwing them a party so that's my my bit he's doing the party so sorry I just need a drink okay what have we got left challenges did I do the dentist no it's in here <clears throat> it's okay it's in here as well so this is fairly new. It's not new to me, but it's new to you seeing it. This is another Kiki K binder. 
as I said before, I am a planner, so I have so many of these binders. I really don't need to <laughs> buy anything for budgeting, really. And these little envelopey things come with these binders. Sometimes you can buy them in packs as well. So um, Kiki K little envelopes they have. They're a bit smaller than the A6, as you can see. This is the end of the Kiki K ones. This is like a, as they say, A6, but it's really personal size. These binders are personal size but anyway so I'm going to go to the dentist one first just so that I can get that out of the way so I've just got this little I don't know I just look up on I just google it um, little savings challenges or this says I don't know Japanese oh I don't know starhouseinfo dot info I don't know so anyway, I'm going to have $50 for dentists. Now, I I just got a tooth pulled, which really sucks, but it had to be done. Um, and so I am going to make these little teeth $50. And even, I know that's a lot of money there, but um, it's for the whole family, not just for me. So, you know, so I am going to put 50 and later on, if I don't think that I need 50 per tooth or per week, I can change it to 20 or 10 and just write in the tooth what I've put in. It's not, you know, it's not a big deal. But for now, for right now, um, I want to go back to the dentist next month. So whatever I can get in here by the end of the month will help. So let's go back to challenges. So now this one is actually one that I did, no, not that one, <laughs> this. So it's just a little puzzle. It's just a little picture puzzle that I found online. And so you have, it's like a little mathematical puzzle. So I'm just going to go with the first square. So two times five should be 10. So then I have to find the piece of the puzzle that equates to that mathematical problem. I mean, these are for kids, but you know what? Kids have so much fun. And we want to have fun, right? So, and you know what? I didn't bring my glue. Typical. Typical me. Where is it? I'm so sorry, I am really not organised. I know I have some blue tape here somewhere. Here we go. Sorry about that. So I do have some blue tape, it'll do. And I'll just put a little bit. No, doesn't want to do it on there. Maybe I should have done it before I cut it okay so and then at the end of it we'll have a picture on here if I do it correctly <laughs> so that's ten dollars and I do have another little one here too so that'll be the next one I do and I think for these um, I might put them into school I'm thinking these little kitty ones would be good for school back to school because that's coming up very quickly actually um, I think we've only got like three weeks left this challenge here came from budget with Ira in the uh, secret center so this one is a dice challenge it came with this dice and so the only thing is I'm not working with coins even though I have coins here I could but I don't I don't want to so what I was thinking I've allowed ten dollars for this challenge so the highest number is a ten so what I was thinking from one to five or one to four could be five dollars and then from five to ten could be ten dollars so whatever I roll if it's under five it'll be a fiver um, and if it's under ten it'll be a ten so that's a six. So that's over five. So we'll do a ten. 
and I will just mark off the six. I don't know where to put the money there. And I will use, I don't think you'll see the pink on there, maybe the blue. So that was a six. We're not going to see that, are we? No, not going to see it. Let's see, perfect. No. Okay, so maybe. Um, hmm. Well, I know that that is a six, I think. It doesn't rub off easily, so I can see that there's a little dog there, so that's okay. Alright, so that's that one. Now, I got these from Diesel Dollar Budgets on Etsy, but um, I believe she was having these free um, on her video, I believe. At one stage. I'm not sure if it's still there. Sorry, I didn't check. Uh, so Diesel Dollar Budgets. She is on Etsy. Uh, and she also has a YouTube channel. Check her out. She's cool. She's here in Australia. Um, so I'm just going to go probably... I was going to go across, but maybe I could go down. But I don't know. But this week I have allocated $20 for this one. So there's 20 and... Let's go purple. So $20 for this one. I did decide because I'm not really a challenge person. Um, I I didn't start out this way, so it's kind of seems a bit funny to me to be breaking my money up like this because usually I would have just put the whole $100 that I've allocated for challenges, I would have just whacked it into savings. But... Um, you know, this is more fun. I do agree with you all that this is more fun. And the next one that also came with that one um, is two, 2023. Um, and it's $23. I think there's... 18, there's 20. I Okay, so 20 times $23. But because I don't want to work with coins, I'm going to allocate $25 to this one. So they're all $23, so I know every week it's going to be $25 for this one. Uh, I might do this one green. I think this is a green. Not a very nice green. It's not as nice as the, the colour on the pen. So I was going to laminate these, but then I thought, you know what? Well, 2023 is only going to be one year you know it's only going to be here once so <laughs> and it's going to take me all year to do these challenges most likely so so there is 20 circles so that could be 20 weeks it could be so you probably could do this one two times in the year i suppose but at the end of this one you'll have 460 and at the end of this if this one's 2023 in 2023 and that's my dentist and also in here I have a car maintenance one. I do have my $100 money bag one. My month ahead, but I have changed that one as well. So that's actually everything in this one. But you know what? I'm going to need an envelope for this one. Um, so this one came from Caracash here in Australia. She has a YouTube channel, Caracash. She also has an Etsy shop. And she has some really great stuff. If you like, like, black and white things, her envelopes and things are, her um, aesthetic is really nice. So this is quarter one for 2023. This is a freebie also, but I think the things, the free things finished now on her YouTube channel. You could print this out for free. Um, this will go till March and then she'll have quarter two, I'm guessing. So, for, for this one, I'm going to start out strong and I'm going to do the $10, but I'm also going to do the first bonus, which is $25. So, 
because I know not every week is going to be great. Um, I do know January is actually a good month for me, so I'm going to try my hardest to get as much done as I can in my savings challenges in January. Because the way I do my budget um, is different to just about everyone else I've seen. So 10 and 25. So we've got 25 and our 10 for quarter one. But I'm going to need an envelope for this one. And I might just use this next available one, or maybe I'll take these out. Put this one up here. Drop these ones to the back. I will come back to these, but just not, just not at the moment. Um, now I want a little sticker to put on this. I think, but I want a vinyl one so I can peel it off again. So let's have a look in here. Probably don't have I'll just use this pink one so I can see it easily. I might put it here. Away. And I will write quarter one. So just Q one. Huh. That ain't gonna work. Q one. So this these are the friction pens. And apparently they work on vinyl stickers, so I'll just let that um, dry a little bit. And that's about it guys. That is my first paycheck for January. And I've never done a check-in before. Um, I will pop in my bills though, I, I think, in here. I will do that. And I'm going to make notes, I think, on the monthlies because if something's not working, I can change it. I can write it here and then I'll change it for the next month. But I will... I will put my bills in and then I would like to do a check-in which see I didn't write my envelopes here I didn't do my cash breakdown because I do it I just do it on a little piece of paper like this and I didn't fill this out so and then at the end of there we do have a check-in page so I will do this before I do week two stuffing I think I'm, I'm going to try it anyway. I don't usually do a check-in, but I will try it. So that's my my wallet stuffing, my cash envelopes, my savings challenges done for another week. And I'll see you next week for another one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please stay safe and healthy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.